my loves excuse the state of my nails um and that one is covered because i had an injury these have been on since before i went to plymouth so i don't know three weeks maybe four i don't know i can't remember but but look this is this is what i did look it was chloe's 21st birthday there we are having a lovely time um and we have a winner to announce Woohoo! so the winner of our competition is kerry does nails please message me kerry you have won the madam glam lamp the brush collection so contact me and uh, my contact details are in the description box contact me and we'll sort that out for you my darling in other news um while we've been away we've been opening an alina crystal store but not for crystals isn't that strange um, it's for our wax melt collection and our new handcrafted candle range, which is huge. I haven't got everything on the website yet, but I will. So, back to the video. Now, we're swatching Madame Glam's October collection. Yes, this swatch is late, apologies, but I was away on holiday and then opening the shop, so I was busy. Um, but yes, this is their October collection. I'm going to run through it with you. These are all cream gel full coverage, like super full coverage. Um, I mean, they cover in one coat, but I would recommend using two anyway, just to give your colour that longevity. And you can see just how gorgeous they are to apply. We all know um, how amazing they are. And if you haven't tried them, why not? Please try them. They're epic. I can save you 30%. So if you're worried about spending too much, just get a top coat, a base coat and like two colours. Um, I mean, by all means, try their black and their white if you want to test how good they are, because that's that's one way to see. They're a 30 second cure, 30 to 60 seconds, depending on what lamp you have. Generally, 30 second cure with these modern day fancy lamps. Um, and yeah, they're epic. Um, I've got, if you use code Sarah B. 30 you can save 30% I'll put that in the description box along with a link if you're in the UK I have researched customs because people have asked me uh, the limit I believe is 135 pounds so um, yeah up until recently I have never never ever 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 in all my years had a customs charge and then I placed a huge order like massive and I got a customs charge so Yes, that's all I will say. It's just down to researching what you can kind of get away with, I suppose. <laughs> Nobody wants to pay that, do they? Nobody. So, yeah, look how gorgeous that colour is. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, the beginning of this video was a bit of a whirlwind. Um, I did my nails off camera before I went to Plymouth because I didn't have time to do anything spectacular and I thought you guys would find it quite boring. So I did a basic design and I have not had time to infill them or do anything. I will be doing my infill and filming it and redesigning because I have a new crystal mix that's launched as well that I haven't even shown you yet. Um, and it's a sapphire mini mix and it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna do you a design that includes that sapphire mini mix. But as you can see from the beginning of the video, this was not at the shop was not planned at all. <laughs> it was literally um, a few days before we went to Plymouth, we were contacted and offered the opportunity to take our brand into a, a bigger organization where they have like units available within their shop. So um, we were like, whoa, yes. And that's what we did uh, without a second thought and it's been a whirlwind ever since it's been a lot of work we've had to extend our range massively and create a lot of product and it's it's yeah it's a lot of work but we're so proud of what we've achieved and if you keep an eye on our TikTok and our instagram for alina crystals you will be seeing a lot more behind the scenes and it seems a lot more of mr b because he's getting very hands-on so it will be very exciting to take you on that journey with us as well and if you do place an order and you're in the in, in our local area um and you want to come along and collect it you can come along and collect it and say hi so even if it's a nail crystals order and you're not interested in wax melts and candles you can still you can still pick it up in store and come and say hi it's a lovely area there's even a farm there where we can take Oliver and he can spend his days playing with the animals and there's a butterfly world and there's a reptile area and there's a play area and there's all these cool cafe place and stuff and loads of stuff so yeah it's a nice place to hang out 
Um, <laughs> so it's been it's been hectic, but we're here. And uh, my God, it's Halloween tomorrow. So today is Jordan's 20th birthday. So we've been working today at the shop, but we spent some time with him and he's been out with his girlfriend, going out for a meal and stuff like that. That's been nice. What have you been up to? Have you been doing anything nice? Have you been anywhere? Let me live vicariously through you. Tell me what you've been doing. And well, yeah, I'd love to hear it. I would love to hear all about it. So there we go with these beautiful gels. As you can see, well, they're just stunning to use, aren't they? They're just the super good quality. Um, Madam Glam has been very patient with me while I've been getting my shizzle together because I, I had to take some time out just for the state of my health, like my my thumb, my hips and my neck were all just in a mess. And that time has kind of let the inflammation die down a bit, you know? I'm off to see my hip surgeon at the end of November so he can have a look at the left one. And the thumb, well, it's still stupid. It's still swollen. It doesn't matter what I do. Um, and my neck will be all right as long as I don't sit in the wrong position for too long. That's all. So I'm just managing my way through it. And now, which is even more fun, is at the back of the shop, we've got an office and we've set up a nail area for me so I can film while we're in the shop. So if one person's out front serving and it's quiet, I can be out back filming extra content. So you will be seeing more videos from me and I'm really, really excited about that. Whatever was wrong with my desk setup, my posture was making me feel really poorly. So we're hoping we've cracked that now. And I'm, I'm super excited because I have got designs like spilling out of my brain. I get sent these beautiful gels all the time from Madame Glam to review and to use. And every time I open the box, I come up with all these ideas and like I haven't been well enough to do them. And it made me so sad because the one thing that I love doing, it was my hobby um, years ago. So I had my hip surgeries 2016, 2017. Um, when I first had my replacements done and all I did while I was recovering was I perched on my special chair that they gave me and we got a little coffee table that was the right height and I just practiced nails over and over and over and it kept me sane so I don't ever want to lose that and you know the worst thing where, where I work now I, we're literally opposite a nail tech a nail salon literally opposite and it's so unfair. I said to uh, Mr. B the other day, she's in there creating nails all day and I'm here and I can't do it. But hopefully we, we'll kind of we'll come to a compromise. I'll, I'll be working a lot more with gel than acrylic because it's just easier on my hands, a lot easier. And if you guys don't mind, I'll be doing more designs on practice tips rather than my hands just because mechanically, again, it's easier. So if you're okay with that, then I will keep the designs coming. And I can only apologize for how slow it's been, but I had to sort of readjust and, you know, heal a bit, let my body calm down and heal and then find a different way to do the thing I love doing. So thank you for your patience with that. You've all been really supportive and lovely and I'm really, really lucky. I'm also gonna to put together um, some playlists for you that seasonal ones because it doesn't seem um, what's the word useful for me to recreate the same kind of styles again so if there are things that come round year on year like every Christmas so-and-so or you know every Halloween so-and-so although I've missed Halloween um, I will bring those designs back out and put them in a playlist so that we don't have to recreate the same stuff again and then you know what's new and what's old. I've talked through this whole thing, but you can see the collection and how wonderful it is. Um, and there will be an opportunity to win this collection at the end of this video. So don't go anywhere. Um, I've also got some pudding gels to swatch after this as well, which I'll show you. Although I feel like I can't give them away in a collection because once you open them, they're kind of tainted. But this is the collection. From October it is absolutely stunning I kind of want to keep it but I'm gonna give it away because there is someone out there who's trying to get started trying to see customers and you can put it to way more use than I can and it's just not fair for me to cling on to it so it's going up it's going up 
in the competition. Here are the pudding gels. There you are, they're wonderful. And um, I'm just getting distracted by how sparkly my crystal is. That was from the Goldfinger mix. The crystals on my nails are from the Goldfinger mix. It's a stunning, stunning mix. And they've been battered with all the shop fitting. I'm also gonna use the Madame Glam gel application brush. It is the best brush I have used for gel and hard gel application because it's curved and it gets right around that cuticle. Now the pudding gels are, well, look, they look like a pudding, like semolina. They are thicker in consistency, they are juicy, they're creamy, they do not run. So if you are wanting to like work on all five nails and then pop them in the lamp, this is the gel you want. You work a bit thinner with it, so you, you will need two layers and you might need three in some cases, but it doesn't bleed and it doesn't run. So, so gel polish is a thinner consistency and it's, it flows. Pudding gel doesn't flow, it sticks and it stays. So I love them both for different things, you know? If I wanna work quick and I wanna do my whole hand and just paint it, I'll use a pudding gel. Or if I just want, because um, it is quite highly pigmented, if I want to work thin, I'll use pudding gel. If I want one color and I'm just gonna put it straight in the lamp, I'll use gel polish, it doesn't matter. Like they, they're useful for different things. Um, this is a gorgeous green, isn't it? Very autumnal. I'm going through the greens first, so we're going on to the olive. Again, that gorgeous consistency. But do you see what I mean when I say I don't really want to give them away when I've done this with them? Because they've been used. Like when you've opened a bottle of gel polish, it's different, but when you've scraped the pudding gel, then I feel like that's a no-no, really. Can't really... I mean, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. I, I'm cool with that, but I feel I would feel awful giving that to someone here. Have that squished gel. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what goes through my head sometimes. Anyway, that's a nice green, isn't it? Lovely green. Beautiful. I'll tell you what I do. I've really just like, I've talked the hind legs off a donkey for 12 minutes solid so i'm going to pop some music on now so that you can actually just take a breath and relax from my insane talking and i'll catch up with you in a minute <music>
So we are approaching the end of the video and I need to let you know how to win the October gel collection. Um, in order to win, I want you to tell me, it was Jordan's birthday today, how old was he? Um, put that in the comments. Uh, because of shipping reasons, I can only do UK for the competition if it's gel, unfortunately. So please remind, uh, remember that, but still comment and say hi and, and I will see you in my next video. So until next time, tally bye. Thank you.